guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me in today's video I'm gonna be putting Bakshi charm to the test I have been subscribed to Bakshi charm for the past uh, 10 months I started my subscription last October I believe so from October to July I have accumulated a selection of products from boxy charms if you don't know what boxy charm is, it is basically basically a monthly subscription where you receive between five to six full size items a month for twenty one dollars um, they have other subscription boxes but they're like little sample size these are full size items full size items so um, I wanted to test it out I wanted to give them my $21 just for a couple of months to see how it was, see how it worked out, see how I'm liking the products. Um, I must say I have no complaints. I've liked probably about 99% of the products that I've received. There's only one thing that I didn't like and that's just a personal preference for me. Um, some colors that just, uh. If you wanna see how I got this look using all items that I received with my BoxyCharm subscription, Please keep watching. Oh, but before you go, before you keep watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right here. Just hit it. It's very easy. It's like ding. It takes two seconds and it's free. Go ahead and hit that button. Keep on watching. All right, so I already washed and moisturized and all that with my face. I went ahead and used the Dr. Bryant Pore Dermabrasion Cleanser right here. This actually came and I think the first or second box that I got, um, I really like this. And I went ahead and moisturized already as well. I haven't gotten any moisturizer yet, so I just used what I had. Um, and my very first box, which was either October or November, I can't remember, I actually got the MAC Eyebrow Pencil and Spike. This used to be my pencil back in the day until I discovered pomades, until I discovered Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then I discovered ColourPop pencils, which are $5, but I'm going to go ahead and use this to do my eyebrows. I actually just heard that MAC discontinued these, but I think they probably discontinued them to like revamp them to like hopefully add a brush to the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows real quick. Now, if it's true that MAC is coming out with a new eyebrow pencil, I really hope that it's thinner than this one. I mean, I think I'm just a little spoiled with like the Precisely My Brows from Benefits, how it's just so thin that to me this is a little thick, but I mean, it did the job. I mean, I got thick eyebrows anyway, so. All right, next, I have yet to receive a concealer or like an eyeshadow base that I can use as a primer for eyeshadow, so I just went ahead and did it off camera. Next, we're gonna move into the eyes. Boxy Charm sends a lot of eyeshadow palettes. These are all the palettes that I've received since being part of the, having this subscription to Boxy Charm. Like this is insane. This is crazy, and I love it. Um, I actually haven't played in all of them. Actually, I'm lying. I have played in all of them except for one. This one right here is the only one that I don't like, and I can't remember what month this came. I just kind of tossed it aside. Um, these colors are a hell no for me. I'm not attracted to the unicorn. I'm not attracted to the mermaid. I this was just this was just this was a point, uh, disappointment. But I got all of these, so I'm good. The palette that I'm going to be using today is actually the one that came in this month's box, which is actually my favorite. It is the Crown Pro, and I've already used it. It's so pretty. Oh my God, this is my favorite one so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for this look. First, I'm gonna use this fluffy brush, and some of the brushes that I'm gonna be using today also came in BoxyCharm because they do give brushes, but this is not one of them. I think this came in a different subscription. But first, I'm gonna use this color right here. As my transition this palette is like so brown girl friendly like I must say that like boxy charm I haven't had any issues except for that one I just showed you earlier with like any of like 
the colors being brown girl friendly. So that's a plus for me. Next, I'm going to go into the shade right next to it, which is like a darker plum. And with the same brush, I'm going to go into my crease, but I'm going to focus more on the outer corner. Then next, I'm going to go use this brown color right next to it. So I went bam, 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 and I'm going to focus this on the outside to kind of like smoke it out a little. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush, a uh, flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take this color right here at the end, and I'm, I'm going to put it on my lid. This is a very simple look. I'm gonna go a little bit more than halfway. Like my pupil is right here and I'm going a little bit more, probably like three quarters. I'm just patting it on. My brush is a little wet by the way. I just washed it and I was like good because I needed to be wet anyway so there we go I'm going to take my um, fluffy fluffy brush and kind of like blend these two use whatever's left over on the brush and kind of blend it together this next item is probably my most favorite thing that I've received out of my BoxyCharms out of the months that I've had it. And it is the Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner. When I tell you this shit is bomb, I struggled with gel eyeliners until I started using this thing. It is so creamy. It is so black. It stays in place. Like, I'm so happy I got this in the box because when I run out, if I run out, because it's so heavy, I feel like it's so much product in here, I will definitely be repurchasing. I think this thing is like $24, but it's worth it. Like, it's so good, guys. It's so good. Like, my, my wing liner game has stepped the fuck up. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it has. So, I'm about to just add this on. Alright, so my battery died on me, not quite sure when, um, had to switch it out, hopefully it only got the complexion because I haven't received, nor do I think I'm going to ever receive any complexion products with Boxy BoxyCharms. Imagine how hard it would be to cater to all the people that they um, deliver to when these, some of these damn companies can't even cater to us brown girls, having us looking like 45. Anything that I use that I'm not talking about or giving the name, I'm going to list it down in the description box. The only complexion product that we re um, that I received is the Pure Sculpt Sculpture Sculpt <laughs> Pure Sculptor. This is I got this a couple of months ago, and it smells like chocolate. The only thing that's wrong with it is it came broke. Eee! And this is probably the highlighter that I would have actually used because it's more of my tone. Um, this is a very dark powder so if this is definitely for the dark deep dark a medium might be able to use this all my um, light skin all my light lighter girls this is probably not gonna work for you you can probably use this as eyeshadow but um I'm happy it worked for me y'all it smells so good Ain't nothing better than a chocolate girl smelling like chocolate. Ow. <laughs> and I'm just gonna finish my under eyes. I'm gonna use this first shade right here. And I'm gonna go with the second shade that I used. And smoke it out as well. Ooh. Wearing contacts in this, oh my God. My poor eyes. And a little tiny bit of the brown on the outer corner. Oh, 
I'm gonna go back with the pretty vulgar gel eyeliner and um, line my waterline. Oh, this eyeliner is so good. Like, I went on the website to see what other colors they have. They have like a khaki color and a brown color. I'm gonna order the brown and I'm gonna need them to come out with some colors. I'm gonna need like electric blue. I'm gonna need this bomb ass green. Throw a purple in there. Fuck, give me a pink. I need some more of that eyeliner. That line, that gel liner is so good. I'll take a yellow. It's so good. Just going back with the un um, the Wander Beauty Unlash mascara. I have received a couple of blushes. I'm not really a blush girl, but I'll add blush for the sake of this video. Um, this month we actually I actually got note the Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the number five Desert Rose. And in the past, I've gotten the Pretty Vulgar and Make Them Blush 18 Hush Blush. You know I'm not using this. So, that can go to one of my lighter complexion friends. And actually, I can probably send that to my sister. And then I've also received a Luminous Loose Blush that's a silk lightweight blush that gives you a pop of healthy radiance in the cheek uh, I'm not I don't know about that so I'll just stick with this one right here and um, this is a brush that we got it's a crown brush so I'm just gonna use this it comes with this little thing but who's using that For highlights, I'm going to be using the Pure Bronze and Brighten. That's right here. So pretty. And I'm going to be using this bronze color right here on the end. I must say, this is really thick and creamy. So it does take a little bit of work to um, blend it out so it doesn't look streaky but it once once you get it it's actually very pretty I love a nose highlight I don't care what nobody says for my inner tear area I'm gonna use this color right here open her up and bring her just a little bit on my bottom bottom lash line I've gotten a few lippies throughout the um, months that I've had the box. These are the ones that I could find. I do give some things away because some things I just know colors will not work for me. I just don't like it. But these are the few that I just haven't tried out or or that I do like. But um, this one right here, A-D-E-S-E -E, New York Addis New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick is probably my favorite that I've gotten so far. It says liquid lipstick, but it's a, it's a gloss. It's glossy. It, okay, it's a liquid lipstick, but it's a glossy lipstick. It's not a matte. So I'm just gonna put it on brown. This is, this literally has become like my everyday lip combination. Brown lip liner and this. What color is this? I don't even know what color it is. It doesn't have a number or anything on it. Last but not least, we need to set it off with some setting spray. I'm going to use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Make sure you shake this up because I made the mistake of not... Ooh, it's coming out. My little spout is broke. I made the mistake of not um, shaking it up. And it does have like little flecks of like sparkle in it. <laughs> and you will have silver shit all over your face. 